Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. I'm honored to be connecting with you here today. Uh, today is the 19th. It is a Tuesday in April, and today is day two of the seven days of the seven chakras. For those who were fortunate enough to join yesterday, there was significant wisdom, uh, blessings, and uh, teaching on the nature of the first soul house, what is often called a root chakra or first chakra, depending on the teachings you're familiar with. And the teachings of the, and the wisdom that I work with from the teacher, Dr. and Master Shah, he brings us a different nomenclature, different wisdom, and different verbiage. And some of that I will return to today. For some of you, it'll be the first time watching. And so I will cover on some of the same topics I covered yesterday so that you have a foundation to work with in um, developing your individual soul houses. <clears throat> now, for many people, very surprisingly for me, for many, many people, they have never heard of a chakra. They have no clue. Only the community that is uh, spiritually oriented and very much awakening are aware of it. However, if you spend any time in the country of India or in the country of China, uh, it's something that you learn about as you grow up. It's so commonplace, the knowledge, that if you don't know about it, then you've obviously been sleeping underneath a rock. Now, that's probably not so true in the last 20 years uh, in the country of China. Uh, because of the sheer control that is uh, associated with the people there and uh, a very sad form of control, but hopefully uh, more shift is occurring. But regardless, <clears throat> an energy chakra or the seven chakras in the human body, they are in every human being and it's something that will, uh, will be there whether science figures it out or not, whether anybody acknowledges it or not. Uh, traditional Chinese medicine has acknowledged it for as long as traditional Chinese medicine has been acknowledged, which is approximately two to 5,000 years, depending on who you talk to. So it stands to reason that um, even though we might not know that much about it, the history alone of them and their impact on our health, on our emotions, their impact on uh, our uh, mental body, as well as our, literally, our enlightenment uh, is part and parcel of what will be shared with you during these seven days. And so thank you all who have joined me. Uh, please, if you have not already, hit the share button. Let other people know about this live stream. And <clears throat> I'll continue a little bit. And then as we gather a few more people, I'll go ahead and start. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm going to keep coughing until it comes out and then I'll be fine. Just a little sinus strain. I've actually been on a fast the last uh, five days. I did a little apple juice with some powder you put in it that grabs all the stuff in your intestines and pulls all the bad stuff out. Did that for three days. Um, and then I just been doing water the last couple of days. Today I had an orange. So my body is probably purifying out some old stuff. So bear with me as I cough a little here and there. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and check in with everybody. Acknowledge who's showing up so far. Welcome Anne Marie. Welcome Laranda. Welcome Ali. Aloha Elizabeth. Uh, aloha to Ilona. Welcome Janet and welcome Diane Hayashi. Welcome Deborah. Welcome Carol. Welcome Brianna. Aloha Pat, Aloha Deborah Knight King, welcome Linda Jansen, and welcome Belinda. Welcome Petra, Aloha Susan, and also welcome to, um, to Suki. Welcome Laura Geis, and welcome Monica. Welcome Missy Dodd. Aloha, Steve Hightower <coughs> and Robin. Saw you here yesterday and again today. Great to see you. Welcome to uh, Johnny and Aloha, Pamela. 
Also, Kristen Strachan, welcome. Welcome, CJ. Welcome to uh, Maga Vargas. And welcome to anybody else. If I have not seen your name, please forgive me. Welcome, Debbie Davenport. So thank you all again for coming, and thank you for hitting the share button. Aloha, Matthew O'Hara. We have some new faces joining in today. That's excellent. Uh, one of the things that I appreciate about Kristen is from the beginning, she starts to share with other places as, as much as Facebook will allow her. <clears throat> then we have new people come in that are unfamiliar. So one of the reasons I drag my feet in that first 10 minutes is so I don't have to repeat so much in the last 50 minutes. <laughs> so bear with me. But let us go ahead and connect heart to heart and soul to soul. And welcome Kathy Campbell. Um, we do that by employing some of the four powers, including body power and soul power. So we're going to place our hand in a hand mudra position, much like a prayer position, uh, but we drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. And I will call forth beings of light to, to serve along with us. So dear beloved Mother Earth, dear beloved Father Heaven, all beings of light serving the plan of the light side, including <clears throat> our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, masters, ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, all beings of light, and all heavens animals. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all, and we invite you to please be present at this time. We ask for you to assist them in every way is most appropriate to align our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies to our soul's journey. Align our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies to our beloved Creator. We ask you to offer your wisdom, guidance, and teachings uh, uh, on the second soul house and each day to return and assist us with each of the soul houses as we do our practices. We ask for your blessings as well. <clears throat> we are very humbled and grateful. Dear the Source Soul House, I do the Source Soul Song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We truly appreciate your unconditional service, and we ask at this time that you turn on in all souls and all universes. We ask that all souls and all universes join with us, that we connect heart to heart, soul to soul, <clears throat> now, for all those that are just tuning in, that are new, uh, this is the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. It is sung in 50 languages around the world. Every day at noon, we invite you to chant also. It is our way of connecting all souls, one song, one humanity. And it is also a blessing. So if you're not familiar with it, close your eyes to receive. Everybody else, let us join in and serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai, wo xin er ling. Wo ai chun ran lei, wang ling rong her mu shi sheng, xiong ai ping an he xie, xiong ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai chun ran li, 
Wang Li Hing Rong Her Mu Shi Shang Song I Ping An He Se Song I Ping An He Se I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so, um, this Sor Sor Sang is something that we chant every Tuesday, which is today, at this center. Right now, I'm at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. He has eight Tao Healing Centers around the world, and they're all dedicated to the same goal, which is to bring love, peace, and harmony to humanity, and to teach people about the nature of soul. Uh, the nature of your human vessel, its interconnectedness to everything in life, and how to reach enlightenment. <clears throat> and so today, focusing on the seven soul houses, seven days for seven soul houses, this is also part and parcel of how to awaken our soul to its journey, or awaken ourselves to our soul's journey, should I say, and how to align ourselves to our higher callings, how to clear the blockages in our seven soul houses, also known as seven chakras, so that we can uh, complete as much of our journey as possible in our return home to our original creator. And so I want to, uh, just for a moment, read a little bit uh, from one of Master Shah's books <clears throat> on who is this, uh, this being. And so um, all of his books have a similar set of information on the back cover. And so this is so anybody new who is listening for the first time can actually hear the um, uh, understanding. So when they know who this teacher is, then they'll be more interested in paying attention because this will serve your soul journey quite well. So Dr. and Master Jigong Shaw is a soul leader, an extraordinary healer, and a divine servant. He was trained as a conventional medical doctor and a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. The founder of the Institute of Soul Healing and Enlightenment, uh, which has changed names now to um, it's a Dao, Dao, uh, Dao Power Institute, uh, Institute. Dao Power Institute, I think, but could be wrong on that. Um, and the Love, Peace, Harmony movement. He is a Grand Master of many ancient disciplines. To be a Grand Master is not easy, guys. In one tradition, you have to do this for many, many years. He is a Grand Master of Tai Chi, Qi Gong, Kung Fu, I Ching, and Feng Shui. Master Shao is also an expert in the most advanced cellular healing sciences now occurring in China and in the West. He is involved in breakthrough research on the effect of spirit on the soul, on the mind, and on the body. He is the holder of a 4,300 year old sacred Taoist lineage. Master Sha was named Qigong Master of the Year at the Fifth World Congress of Qigong in 2006. <clears throat> he was granted the Martin Luther King Jr. Commemorative Commission Award for his humanitarian efforts. And his television programs, The Power of Soul, debuted in 2010 on PBS. So his Soul Power series reveals, this is one of the books in the Soul Power series, I think there's eight or nine, reveals soul secrets, wisdom, knowledge, and practical techniques to transform every aspect of your life. Okay, and so today I'll be working with some information from Dao Song Dao Dance. And because I stopped to read that, I lost my, my page, so I'll have to find it again. But that was for all of you that, that don't know who this teacher is and how he can serve us. Okay, so now I found my page. So I want to acknowledge all of those who came in uh, in this last little bit. If I don't acknowledge your name, please forgive me, I, I don't see it. Um, so welcome Kathy Campbell, welcome Dana Knapp, welcome Nicole. 
Uh, welcome, Diane Chun. Welcome, Dove. Aloha uh, to Jennifer. And welcome, Shelley Wilburn. Welcome, Jessica Abin. And welcome also to uh, Suki. Welcome to Crystal. Aloha. And so far, that's everyone I can see. And welcome, Brigitte. Happy birthday to Brigitte. Her birthday was yesterday. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start by... Uh, give me a minute. I'm going to start by offering everybody a blessing. Okay? One of the um, wonderful uh, aspects of being a master teacher in uh, the organization that Master Shah has created around the world to assist humanity in awakening is that he has received uh, authorities from the beginning of uh, approximately 2003 uh, to teach some of these higher level wisdoms. Then his authorities came to the opportunity to offer blessings that literally can uh, cause a significant suffering to dissolve. And so I will offer a short three minute blessing uh, for everybody, for whatever request you want, as a way of opening my heart to you, as a way of opening your heart to me. So at this time, make a request for whatever you would like. If, uh, if you want to know if a blessing works for you, you might want to choose something that's measurable, uh, not too big, like I don't, can't offer you a million dollars, but if you have a pain or something like that, this is especially if you're new, choose something that's measurable. Okay? You make your choice, tell God. Uh, I'm just a middleman, just a delivery person. And then I'm going to connect and offer you the blessing. <coughs> so for all those that will be listening to this after the fact in podcast, this blessing does apply to you as well. One of the nice things about us, uh, soul healing is that it is not limited by time or space. I have been on uh, recorded TV shows where it did not air for a month. Didn't even go out to the public for a month. Uh, and I've had people contact me after the fact and say, yeah, I asked for a blessing when you offered it. And, uh, and they had a significant measurable result. <clears throat> and so um, it doesn't matter when you receive the blessing. So aloha Angie, aloha everybody else who just joined new. I'm about ready to offer a blessing. Please make your request. Ten more seconds. And your request to heaven, not to me. You don't need to write it down on the live stream. If you're new, uh, choose something measurable. Pain, something like that. Five seconds. I will bless you with my uh, certain layer of soul song transmission that I have. Very high layer. You are very blessed. Blessing begin. Hey yo ya hey ya Hey la 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 hey ya hey yo ya hey ya Hey ya hey ya hey ya hey yo ya hey ya Ya hey ya hey yo ya hey ya hey yo ya 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 La 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 ya ya yo he ya he ya he ya he ya he yo ya he ya yo he la la li ya he la 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 he ya he ya he ya ya he yo Hey, 
treasure please return you are all very very blessed <clears throat> is your heart more open if you requested something that measurable has it shifted for you so thank you master Shah for transmitting that healing ability to me I am beyond grateful thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> and so the opportunity to to awaken to our soul in its journey is present right here right now on earth there is so much happening on earth look around you there is war there is famine there is disease like never before there is good like never before there is all kinds of movements for love and peace and harmony in their own way we have our own movement through this organization there is so much that looks like it could trigger one way or the other we are in very unique times and when the soul comes into incarnation it knows exactly what opportunities it has to transform when a soul hangs out in heaven it is not growing that much it can sit up there and go om 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 but the reality is there's not much growth on the soul level a soul wishes to evolve to awaken fully and to remember the purity of its original source to align with the purity of its original source and when uh, a soul comes into incarnation the greatest possibility of each and every lifetime is available in very transitional times like what we are in now you heard 2012 you know you heard all of that stuff um, the world is still going through a transition we're moving into a higher frequency into another dimension so to speak and it's not something where somebody snaps their fingers and we're in a new dimension no not at all it's much like driving up a mountain where you start to see the clouds at the bottom and then you start to see the clouds uh, and then pretty soon you're in the clouds and then you're in the clouds for another hour driving over the top of the mountain and then you drive down the mountain and you come out the other side except for the human race it'll more, look more like a hundred years so they are the times are optimal to awaken to our soul and clear the shen qi jing karmic blockages that inhibit us from being in that place of purity and being in that place of love that uh, all souls want that you want otherwise you wouldn't be here the chakras are directly related to awakening of your soul and its journey people do not understand that especially in the West because we have been living in a massive brainwash for the most part between the cell phones and the television set and and all of the the violent games all of the negativity on the news everything out there is designed to keep us in a place of fear and brainwashedness so to speak and a place of unawakening is a better way to put it and it's doing a fabulous job we have to claw tooth and nail to awaken uh, in, in any given moment 
to generally, I mean, how many of you have tried meditation but it doesn't work? How many of you have tried to do something and you go up 10 steps and fall back seven? This is very common in all of humanity and especially for those that are not in a daily dedicated spiritual practice. Um, why? Because there is so much that is not of the light side trying to win. We, as the, as the responsible person for our own soul and its journey, must fight the valiant fight to awaken. And we do that by remembering what we are, which is a soul. We are a soul having a physical experience. We are, first and foremost, from our Creator. And we are not individual. We are, by no stretch of the imagination, alone. We are, are a collective. So we came from one, we will return to one. And the only way to accomplish that is through oneness uh, activity. When we do blessings for ourselves to awaken our soul through a variety of practices, including opening and boosting power to our, our chakra system, what in essence we are doing is we are becoming more light. As we become more light, we are affecting the human beings next to us. We are affecting the plant life right next to us. A being who becomes more light is affecting the whole. As we become more awakened by doing our practices, by being a bit more vigilant, by saying no when it's time to go out and drink with all the buddies because you know deep inside that's really not what you want to do, but you don't want to lose their love or their friendship. But if you choose your soul journey a little more often each and every time, the opportunity to move more into the light is more and more significant for us. And so the practices that I'm doing in the, each of these seven days is not necessarily new wisdom. It's been out there a long, 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 long time. I certainly didn't invent it. Master Shaw didn't invent any of this, but he has brought to us some very advanced techniques that are typically hidden from humanity. They are hidden unless you want to go live in India with a guru and feed and, and, and take care of him and wash his clothes and cook for him and all that. You want to do that for 10, 20, 30 years? Great, you can learn some of these. The thing I appreciate about my teacher, Master Shah, is he willingly opens up the most sacred wisdom ever brought to humanity that he has learned from his great, great, great masters. You don't get to be a grandmaster of five modalities accidentally. You don't get to be Qigong master of the year accidentally. You don't get all of these allocates accidentally. You get them because you're dedicated to serve humanity. You're dedicated to awaken the energy body. And so what he brings to us through his uh, wisdom and his books, through his videos, through everything, through teachers like myself, is how to wake up, how to clear our blockages. And not only does he teach us these sacred, sacred teachings and how to do them, which is in and of itself extraordinary and worth its weight in gold, he brings us the why. Why do we do this? And as we awaken, what to do with your awakenness? He teaches us how to, in essence, reach enlightenment, which some of us are actually on that path. Some of us, it's like a fairy tale. Well, yeah, that'd be nice, but you know, you know, I got this, I got that, I don't really care about it. <clears throat> and that's okay for you, wherever you're at, because it is a process. Um, in the belief system that I uh, align with, I do believe we go around more than once. And I do believe that uh, reincarnation is real and that we have opportunity to do better, better, better. Unfortunately, in um, the human experience, if you follow that line of teaching, we go up, 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 up. Next time we come around, we might forget a few things, go down, 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 down. Next lifetime, we remember again, up, 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 up. So our life or our many lifetimes could very much be like the stock market, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So to go from here to high layers of growth in one lifetime is very, very hard. Fortunately, there is very special conditions in which you can go a long way in a short period of time. And that is conditions like what is occurring in the world today, where there is significant light and significant darkness. For those that choose to be um, so more selfless than selfish, for those that choose to do this not only for themselves but for others, for those that choose to join any movement that supports love and peace and harmony of any kind, 
For those that choose selflessness in their thoughts, in their words, in their actions, for those that choose to do more and more forgiveness each and every day, those are the souls that are ramping up in their soul journey and their soul standing is going very rapidly. Now, this ties into the sock chakras and the soul houses. In Master Shah's uh, wisdom, he does not call them chakras. He calls them soul houses. And he shares why. <clears throat> and he shares why in a very um, beautiful way. Now, I want to see if uh, this... I want to see as I look at this if he covers that. Okay, so Seven Soul Houses. This is from page 32 of the Tao Song Tao Dance book. Tao Song Tao Dance. He teaches you how to uh, sing and dance on your way to enlightenment. How to use mantra as one of many powers to vibrate and change the blockages. I watched a 30-second uh, snippet on Facebook this morning where somebody was taking droplets from an eyedropper, dropping them in the air, and they were suspended in the air. Uh, one after the other, dropped one, went down beneath it, dropped one, went down beneath it, dropped one. And these three droplets are just sitting there suspended in the air, um, vibrating, but suspended. And he had a speaker underneath it. So sound can absolutely impact us. You all know that. The seven soul houses. A human being lives in a house. Your beloved soul lives in your body. Your body is the house for your soul. The divine taught me, this is Master Shah talking, the divine taught me that there are seven soul houses within the body. Now I'm going to hold up this picture for those of you that are new. Welcome Rena Price. Welcome to Larissa uh, Nielsen. Welcome to Tali. Uh, aloha to um, Rishav. And any of the other souls I have not mentioned, please forgive me. So this is the picture of the seven soul houses. Okay. And so he goes on to say, <clears throat> your beloved soul can move within your body. Some souls can even travel outside the body. However, your soul generally resides in one of the seven soul houses in your body. Generally resides. All seven soul houses are located along the central channel that goes from the top of your head down to the base of your torso. The central channel starts at the Hui Yin, pronounced Hui, like, like you're saying it's the way in the door, but it's with an H. Hui Yin, uh, which is located at the tip of the acupuncture point in the center between your anus and your genitals. There's a soft patch of skin there, and that's the center point. Just inside the body, is uh, your first soul house. We went over that yesterday. By the way, if any of you missed the teachings from yesterday on the first soul house, go back, watch it. Don't miss it. Everything has a, a root that, that's, that builds onto the next layer. And the first soul house is extraordinarily important to the uh, other soul houses. So make sure you go back and watch that. If you're not sure how, go to my Facebook page or right above the video <coughs> is... Um, uh, an, uh, link to the archives. For those on podcast, you know how to go back. He goes on to say that the, uh, to locate, he goes on to say where they're located at. So the soul is, resides in between this channel. That's why he calls it soul houses, because the soul moves through these areas. Now, although it's not in this section, I'll enlighten you a little bit. Um, the soul, uh, when he did a reading, a roughly... Uh, about seven years ago, he asked, um, you know, the Akashic Records, how much of humanity has reached soul enlightenment? 15%. 85% of humanity, their soul resides below the heart center. When a soul has reached a level of selflessness, the soul sits in the heart center. It takes many, many lifetimes. Uh, the average he indicated was about three to five hundred lifetimes of service before your soul has generated enough virtue before it will sit in your heart center and you have reached the first level of enlightenment, soul enlightenment. So one of the reasons why we practice to clear the blockages is because they each carry um, uh, 
uh, Shen Qi Jing spiritual debt blockages. They actually reside in our body, and a lot of these blockages reside in our soul, uh, soul house, in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh soul house. Uh, yesterday I released for everybody, and I'll touch on it today, the opportunity to clear the Shen Qi Jing karma blockages in each soul house, one by one, um, uh, literally just wipe out the, the, the Shen Qi Jing, which is karma, and clear it out, um, receive a light ball, which would take you 500 years to develop on your own, 500 lifetimes, excuse me, uh, quite a bit more than 500 years, 500 lifetimes, and, uh, and get a light wall protection. If you don't know, if you don't understand it, can't explain it now. For those who grasp it and understand the value of it, take advantage of it. So in any way, the, um, the first soul house we talked about yesterday, I just explained where that's at. It's approximately fist-sized at the base of the torso, just above the skin, the bottom of your body. Uh, directly above that, approximately an inch and a half below your belly button, go inside to the center of your body. Again, a fist-sized energy center is there. This is your lower Dantian. Uh, this is your second energy center, second chakra, second soul house. Same thing. If you have done any form of uh, Tai Chi, any form of Qigong, if you've observed any of those practices, they do practices around circles of the lower part of the body. What are they doing? They're gathering light, gathering heaven's energy, earth's energy into their lower Dantian, into their second chakra. Uh, there are hospitals in China that do not put an IV in you. They are dedicated to use specifically Qigong practices, energy movement practices, and many, many people walk away uh, normal when they walked in there quite unhealthy. So the ability to move energy has been proven over many thousands of years for its effectiveness. The uh, seven soul houses, unbeknownst to many people, are a great repository of either light or darkness. Much of our spiritual debt and karma is associated to these areas. <clears throat> the second soul house, I'll read from Master Shah's book, has some very specific uh, attributes. So the significant benefits and power of the second soul house can be summarized as followed. The second soul house is the key for empowering the lower Dantian a fist-sized energy center. It is also the key soul house for balancing and maintaining the optimal health in the large intestine. It is the sacred powerhouse for developing energy, stamina, vitality. It is the sacred powerhouse for rejuvenation. Yesterday, the uh, immunity was actually had some associations with the first soul house. So in the in this sacred soul uh, soul powerhouse for rejuvenation, what is rejuvenation? Getting younger. It is the sacred powerhouse for losing weight. Ah, so does that mean if you do this practice a lot, you have the potential of losing weight? The potential is there. You figure it out for yourself. Now I'm now going to do what I did yesterday, which is offer a an additional reading. I'm going to ask the soul of this chakra. Uh, everything has a chakra and Master Shah teachings, if you're new, everyone, everything comes from Creator, therefore everything has spirit. In other words, everything has soul. Every soul has a purpose, which is to serve. Our chakras have a soul. Their purpose is to serve the vessel of the human body so that it, we can uh, receive heaven and Mother Earth energy return to light. And so I will now uh, offer guidance and wisdom from the second soul house. So dear the soul of the original second soul house, could you please come at this time, borrow my mouth, offer any additional guidance on the power and significance of you and your association uh, to all things, including the human being. Thank you. How? I am the soul of the second soul house. 
I am here to serve not only human beings, but all souls. As was stated yesterday by my brother, the first soul house, we, all of the chakras, are here to serve. We exist in all souls. How and why is this true? Because we exist in original creator. And as you know, and as has it been said, we are all likeness of the original creator. This is equally true for you to understand. When you align your second soul house, when you gather the Shen, Qi, and Jing from higher sources such as the Sun, beloved Mother Earth, from other galaxies and universes, from angels, healing angels, Buddhas, Jesus, all beings of light carry heavens, Shen, Qi, and Jing. They carry soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, but they carry it at different frequencies than the human being. There is the snail, which has a much lower frequency, and there is the human with a higher frequency, and there is the angel and Mother Earth, and so forth. Each of these resonate, emanate, pulse their frequencies. You are one with all things. Therefore, you have the birthright of gathering these frequencies of higher caliber into your energy centers and seven soul houses. This cannot be more clearly explained. It has the propensity to literally fully enlighten you if you grasp the full nature of this wisdom. For it is when one becomes fully enlightened that they are fully light beings. And this is the hidden wealth to accomplish that. My service as the second soul house in each of your bodies is to not only deliver this message to you on the conscious level, but also to all human beings. For when you gather light, my light, I literally, when in the presence of others, bless them. This does not mean your energy is drained. I, as the second soul house, have the responsibility to share my light with others. And you are the portal through which the blessings of your Creator occur. Be very diligent with the practices. Receive as much as possible clearings, blessings, calligraphy, and more for these chakras. For the time is short that these kinds of light tools that have come to humanity to serve at this time have been made available. And if you were to incarnate at a different time when they were not available, then you would be much like the monk on the mountain working hard and diligently to gather the light of their own accord. This is my message for you today. This is the soul of the original second soul house. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that wisdom uh, to the soul of the second soul house. Oh, thank you, Katie. Katie is describing her third eye. She saw this beautiful golden being coming forward. Uh, as Master Paul offered to flow, it looked like a beautiful liquid gold sun 
radiating colors of green and purple, etc., starting to flow into the gold. I could really feel a great sense of oneness, wholeness. So beautiful. Thank you, Master Paul. Uh, thank you to the soul of the second soul house. And thank you for that third eye reading, Katie. I appreciate that. It helps the others um, have a greater understanding that it's not me giving this information. And the nature of soul is very powerful. Everything has a soul. Everything has a message. And there are many souls that are a whole lot higher than us. So thank you, uh, Katie, for that. So now we practice. <clears throat> you can do it from a couple different places. This teacher, Master Shah, uh, has been serving humanity since he was born, uh, went through great suffering, great growing up, trained with the greatest masters, Tai Chi, Qi Gong, Feng Shui, I Ching, trained as a doctor. But he received the highest wisdom from the source. He doesn't expect you to believe that. It's completely up to you. He just was asked to share the wisdom. So he writes a book in one week. It's unlikely that he figured it out since English is not his first language. Um, he's written many books without even knowing the words he was using. So the information is uh, the source information about how we can develop our light bodies. Everything you hear me say is because of what he has taught about how we can open our chakras, how we can open our energy systems, how we can connect. Every one of you, all of you, can talk to divine. All of you can talk to your angels, guides, saints. All of you can talk to God. There is nobody that's special. It's literally something that's available to everybody equally. Why can't we all do it? Because these kinds of wisdoms has been hidden from humanity for too long. That's why there is such a shift occurring in humanity. That's why the darkness is, is so vibrant today. That's why the light is so vibrant today. Because we're moving into a higher frequency, a higher dimension, some will call it. Um, and we're moving towards the light. We're moving towards that which has always been there. And 100, 200, 300 years from now, we'll all be talking to, to angels and God and all that with equalness, with equal clarity. But for now, we have a benevolent soul who's come, who has brought great wisdom on how to do the practices to slowly but surely crack open your shell and receive the light that you've always been and have this kind of communication on your own. And these practices are all about the same thing that we'll all be doing, uh, just like it was going to school uh, in first grade 100, 200, 300 years from now. It's going to be commonplace. Now it's exciting and new, going to be very commonplace in the future. Okay? A lot to look forward to. But in the meantime, you're here, so let's do the practices together. <clears throat> let's find some significant uh, uh, way to awaken our soul. Four powers body power, sound power, mind power soul power. Soul power is inner souls and outer souls. Outer souls are all the beings of light. Inner souls are inside our body. Inner souls are our organs, systems, our energy centers. Everything has a soul, remember? Soul power is a very potent power. We also have additional powers like Shaw's Golden Healing Ball, Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball. These have been transmitted to serve humanity. There are additional powers like the calligraphies, like the transmissions that have been placed in the books. Each of these have one thing in common. They carry higher frequencies. How do you transform your chakras? You bring in higher frequencies. Common sense, okay? So when we do these practices, we're vibrating where our hands go, energy flows. When we chant the mantra, we chant from our lower chakras, from our bring the power in. We visualize the power coming in from 365 degrees. We ask and, and visualize uh, the soul world bringing the light to us, to that energy center. This is the, the human way to do it. Uh, even uh, 20, 30 years ago, there was not the opportunity available to ask the soul of like this calligraphy behind me, which carries far greater power than, than anybody on earth. <laughs> far greater power. Why? Because we got karma. We cannot receive a high transmission into us. The calligraphy can. Therefore, it has far greater power because light can be transmitted to a piece of paper much more so than a human being. So we want to use those things that are available to us to bring the higher frequencies. Let us begin by placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, dropping our left hand in front of our heart center, connecting heart to heart, soul to soul. Repeat after me, if it is comfortable. 
Dear all the beings of light who are present, dear my beloved Creator, I love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, ask you to please be present at this time. Please bless me to open and awaken my second soul house. Please bless me to gather the Shen, Qi, and Jing of all the beings of light. Dear all the beings of light serving the plan of the light side, all masters, ascended masters, angels, healing angels, archangels, dear the soul of all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, dear the soul of our sun, the soul of Mother Earth, I love you, honor you, deeply respect you. As I do this practice, could you please shower your light on my soul, on my second soul house, Bless me to gather as much light as possible. Dear the soul of my second soul house, love you, honor you, appreciate you. You have the power to boost yourself, to boost your vitality, your stamina, to rejuvenate. Do a great job. Thank you. Let us place our palms, body power, one over the other, on the lower abdomen. The knuckle is resting in your belly button. Both palms are relaxed over the other. Don't push, don't force, and leave space between. Your back is straight, back away from the back of the chair. Your feet are flat on the floor. You can if you choose to be in lotus position. The sound power we will chant Hung, H, uh, H E N G, Hung. Hung Ya Yo Dao. Following yesterday's mantra, Hung Ya Yo Dao, Hung Ya Yo Jong, Hung Ya Yo Ling, Hung Ya Yo Shu, and Hung Ya Yo Kong. <coughs> You'll gather, uh, gather along as we go. Okay? So let us begin. Close your eyes. See the light coming into your second soul house. Let us begin. Hung Ya Yo Dao. Hung ya yo dao, 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 hung ya yo dao. Hung ya yo dao, 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 hung ya yo dao. Hung ya yo dao, 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 hung ya yo dao. Hung ya yo dao, 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 hung ya yo. Hung ya yo jong, 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 hung ya yo jong. Hung ya yo jong, hung ya yo jong, hung ya yo jong, hung ya yo jong, 
衡压有重，衡压有重，衡压有重。衡压有重，衡压有重，衡压有重。Visualize the light coming into your second soul house when you chant, chant from your first soul house. Bring your voice. Your throat into your base torso, base soul house. Continue. Hung ya yo ling, hung ya yo ling, hung ya yo ling, hung ya yo ling, hung ya yo. 衡压有零，衡压有零，衡压有零，衡压有零，衡压有零，衡压有零。衡压有零，衡压有零，衡压有零，衡压有零。To the soul of all the downloads and treasures from my second soul house, please turn on. Please radiate ah for a blessing to all of those watching, all of those listening, during the remainder of this chanting practice, as appropriate. Hung ya yo ling, hung ya yo ling, hung ya yo ling, hung ya yo ling. Hung ya yo ling, 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 hung ya yo. Hung ya yo shu, 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 hung ya yo shu. Hung ya yo shu, 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 hung ya yo shu. Hung ya yo shu, 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 hung ya yo shu. Hung ya yo shu, hung ya yo shu, hung ya yo kong, hung ya yo kong, 
红呀有空，红呀有空，红呀有空，红呀有空，红呀有空，红呀有空。横呀有空，横呀有空，横呀有空，横呀有空，横呀有空，横呀有空。红呀有空，红呀有空。好，好，好。Thank you, thank you, thank you. So check in with how you're feeling. If you're vibrating, if you feel warmth in your lower abdomen. If anybody had third eye images, they can share. This practice <clears throat> is considered a foundational energy practice. That means it's an everyday practice. This practice, the Kundalini area and the heart center, the message center, are considered foundational energy centers, everyday practices. When we do practice every day for this area, we could have significant benefits for our longevity. For our rejuvenation, uh, the optimal maintaining of health and well-being, there are so many benefits that can be obtained by the uh, practice on a daily basis. For those that are interested, there is crown chakra blessings and transmission systems available for each energy center. The crown chakra blessing. Uh, Excuse me, not crown chakra blessing. A soul operation, soul operations uh, clear the shen qi jing blockages. And as long as you uh, maintain simple practices, then no reason for them to come back. You start doing many unpleasant negative things; things could come back. The uh, healing and transmission system, removal of all the shen qi jing blockages, new, brand new energy center take you 500 lifetimes to develop on your own, and a light wall protection. It is like uh, the optimum rotor rooter job for your soul journey, and each of the seven soul houses has this available. You can learn more on my website. You can call me. You can email me. You can、uh, Facebook message me. You can go to my、uh, Yahoo、uh, A Soul Healer at Yahoo dot com. There are so many ways in which you can benefit from these practices and blessings. I encourage you to learn more about them and take advantage of them. I'm going to read some responses. Tummy and legs tightened up and vibrated, says、uh, <coughs> says Anne Marie. Susan says, "And vibrating and warm, saw a beam of golden light surrounding not just me, but the whole living room." Ah,、wow, that's excellent. And、uh, Brigitte says, "Thank you, Master Paul. Just what you needed." CJ, the whole body is vibrating. That was powerful. Can still feel it. So,、uh, my divine treasures, please return. So. Um, after this, please share. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button.、Uh, subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe to the Facebook live stream.、Um, podcasts are available. You can learn more by going to my website. It's on the first page. Just click on the, the area that talks about it, and、um, you can see how you can request to receive audios in email. If that's how you prefer to receive it, you can receive it on your Android. You can even uh, join uh, uh, special、um, organizations that just do podcasts. Many different ways to listen to this. Audio, which is very valuable if you want to practice with it after the fact. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you to all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side. <clears throat> We love you, honor you, respect you. Please respectfully return. Return tomorrow. Tell your friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, bye, everybody. <laughs>